Well, as a lawyer, um, I'm very interested in democracy and the de democratic processes. And I think that Venezuela is an example to the world on how uh, elections should be run rather than uh, the demonization that is happening around the world of, of the Venezuelan electoral system. I think it's second to none and something that the Venezuelan uh, people can be very proud of. I know little about the candidate other than that what I hear from the Western press that, that tend to support him. Um, and that makes me very suspicious because I, I trust in democracy and I trust that in, in the Venezuelan people and not what America or any other westernised country would like to tell me. Do I trust the electoral system? Absolutely. I mean, I've heard all the reports um, that it's a completely robust system and that will guarantee a free and fair election. I think that's uh, something to be recognised. And I want, um, uh, obviously, the UK um, and all the West to recognise um, that there's a free and fair democracy in Venezuela and that when uh, hopefully when Chavez wins the election, which I'm sure he will do, looking at the polls, um, that they completely respect that and respect um, uh, what is a democratic movement for social change in Venezuela. Caprillas, in my, in, in, in my um, opinion, is an absolute stooge of the American uh, government. I think his policies are um, absolutely appalling because they stand actually against the immense progress that has been made in Venezuela, and that's something that I don't want to support. I think that what um, the Chavez government and Venezuela have been doing in building um, Latin American and Caribbean unity and also looking globally um, to Africa, um, towards uh, the East as well, and Asia, I think that's incredibly inspiring, and Caprilla stands against that tradition, and obviously I'm going to um, speak against that, and I think people should support Chavez in the election. Well, the trade union movement in Britain and internationally always looks to genuinely independent uh, electoral organisations and human rights organisations uh, for a lead. And what's clear is that the elections uh, following the failed coup have been free and fair elections and that clear majorities have been won. Uh, so I don't think there can be any doubt uh, from any credible source uh, that uh, the elections have been free and fair and democratic. Mm. I think uh, it's a matter for the Venezuelan people who they want to elect as the new president. Um, it's important that uh, the uh, choice of the Venezuelan people is respected and it's important that uh, nobody attempts to interfere in that election or in that result, whether that's a foreign government or whether it's uh, big and rich corporations or whether it's media uh, outlets. It's the Venezuelan people who must decide their own future, nobody else. Para mí es un acto de solidaridad en el pueblo de Venezuela y el desarrollo del pueblo de Venezuela para educación, para salud, uh, para empleo, para las casas también. Y más importante es una inspiración para el pueblo de toda América Latina, una inspiración, una liberación del capitalismo and liberación de la opresión. It's a very, very important election. Um, we see this as um, really cementing the, the left advance in Latin America, especially as, have, as we've had setbacks in Honduras and Paraguay in the last year or two. So it's very, very important that, that Chavez wins, not just for Venezuela, but for the left um, in Latin America generally. I think it can only go from strength to strength. I think the solidarity that's been shown between the countries of Alba, Cuba, Venezuela and Bolivia to, together and others are marching forward to build something totally extraordinary which will show the rest of the world how you can take a stand against imperialism. Bueno, yo votaría por el candidato que está por la inclusión social. Yo votaría por el candidato que está por la eliminación de la pobreza. Yo estaría por el candidato que está por la multipolaridad a nivel mundial. Yo estaría por el candidato que está por el progreso. Yo estaría por el candidato que está por la inclusión de los indígenas, de las comunidades negras, de los afrodescendientes y de la expansión de la democracia y el progreso social. El candidato, por lo tanto, se llama Hugo Chávez Frías. El paquete de ahora es cinco o seis veces peor que el del 89, con la diferencia agregada de que hoy día la gente tiene un nivel de conciencia 100 veces más alto. Es decir, 
implementar un programa de este tipo significa prácticamente detonar una bomba atómica en pleno corazón de América Latina. Well, I think that the, at the moment when things in the West and in England in particular are very bad for ordinary people, uh, the government's cutting everything. I work in education, they've cut education in this country. I think it's a beacon of hope to see a government that actually invests in ordinary people and gives ordinary people some hope for a better future when we're looking at worse futures here. Well, Capillas will say whatever he needs to say. I've noticed, at least as it's been reported in Britain, that he's very soft on social welfare reform. He says he's going to keep some of Chavez's stuff, but he will say that, and he'll say that to try to gain some of the votes from people who won't benefit when he takes over, because he'll be serving his people, and they're the wealthy of Venezuela. Well, it seems to be a fair system, but you know, uh, there's people going out there who are international observers, and they're going to testify that it is a fair and free election. That's absolutely important for international acceptance, so that's, uh, that's going to be observed by people who are going out there. Well, I think it, he's, uh, Chavez is a giant compared to Capriera. He's tiny, he's obviously seems to have very anti-democratic tendencies, and the real worry is that uh, if Chavez is re-elected, as we expect it to be, on October 7th there could be intervention, and that's really worrying and very dangerous. The consequences would be all the, all the gains of uh, Chavez's leadership in terms of health care, in terms of assistance for the poor, and using Venezuela's resources for the people of Venezuela will be rolled back and he'll be at the behest of uh, multinational companies and those who are hostile to the kind of social projects that's taking place in Venezuela.